How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Booster Think. Welcome back to Lava Square, where we're getting towards the end of the second month. And last episode was quite an intense one. We had the Lady of the Lake uh, adventure going down, which, like I said, when I first tried to go through the game and had that like complete loss of data and had to kind of go re back and do, I actually didn't get to fire at all. So I don't know what I still don't understand what I did differently, really. Uh, but I'm not complaining. Also, I'll tell you, like, I absolutely hard pivoted because I was very much on the Beatrice route before, but now I've done a hard swing into the Vale route and I don't really regret it. As we've gotten to know the characters, Vale has actually been a very fun one to get to know. Like, she didn't come off as tropey as I expected, and it turns out that she is uh, Sir Grand, but it's more complicated than her just being this super strong person who's like hiding in like oversized armor. She's actually giving like physical like form for enchanted armor that has like some kind of soul trapped within it. So yeah, that's really cool. Like it's a really interesting story beat, which I'm like excited to learn more about. Uh, Character-wise, we're doing pretty good. We got all our stats, I think, up to like level sevens, or at least we're close. I'm gonna get the last one up to level seven and unlock the last limit break, whatever it is. And then uh, we, and then at that point, it's just a sprint to level ten, which I'm guessing is gonna be the, like the the peak of what you can achieve in the game. But yeah, uh, I think it's about time we go and get some more monies. Like, let me see. We got 212. Yeah, like 226. That's not gonna last very long because we are like now at a point where we're starting to spend a hundred gold every time we do a training. Uh, so what I might try and do today is I might go ahead and top off strength to seven. Uh, and then after that, I definitely want to go and hit the grind and go into the forest and do those missions as much as I can. So we can start getting those stats fully uh, realized. Anyway, let's go. I really do think I'm gonna like I I like Vale's a character has really caught my eye. I'm very happy with it, and so I'm definitely gonna keep keep working on that. All right, let's get this training done. Woo! I can feel the burn. I wonder if we can do it all day. I'll do more next time. I promise. All right, no one here. It's time to get you. No, I need one more day. I need one more day to get this rounded off to seven. That was more than enough. Oh, I think. With Val here, we gotta go say hi to her. How are you doing? Uh huh. Wait, is that? Yes, it is. Yes, unfortunately, it is. Hey. What? It, it still talks? Well, yeah. You see, Millie here gets all lonely when I go to work during the day. She seems a lot more friendly now. <laughs> Lonely? More like bored. Spend nine hours sitting still in the armory and you'll know what I mean. Well, the point is, it's easier for the both of us if I just bring around her helmet like this. That way, Millie doesn't get bored and I have someone I can talk to. Without the inconvenience of lugging around a huge suit of armor. Yep, best of both worlds. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if we could take her like helmet out for a walk every once in a while. A talking grand helmet. That's... That's too cool! Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Squire, there is only so much dignity I can afford to lose. <laughs> so please, don't. Aw, what if we took you out on a trip sometime? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so what did you want to talk about? Just wanted to hang out, really. Oh, look at that face. Oh, she's so adorable. <sighs> oh, cool. So, like... So we got Townsfolk and Hobbies, and then when we uh, uh, get further along the next circle, we get Grand's Armor and Secrets, which is really enticing. All right. Oh, Bessie's Milk, two stars? Uh, interesting. Uh, let's do the fish stall. Hey, thanks. This is pretty nice. All right. Not much, but hey, it's something. All hey right. there. Let's How you doing? Let's talk about Townsfolk. So... Need any interesting people around town? Hmm. There's this girl called Amy. She seems pretty nice. Oh, yeah, it's my sister. You know my sister? Oh, she's your sister? Well, stepsister, actually. She always buys fish from me. Oh, and she really likes the cerulean salmon. Yeah, she's been trying different ways to cook that lately. Glad she likes it. Come to think of it, she's got a stall at the plaza, right? Yeah, you should sell pies and all that. Yep. 
You should drop by sometime. I really should one of these days. I'm looking forward to trying some of that apple pie people keep talking about. See, I knew that people were talking about it. Wow, her mood has really changed though. She was very flippant before, but now she's like genuinely like nice to us, which is really cool. Oh, it's so sweet. Very nice indeed. How about hobbies? So, Val, what exactly do you do for fun? Well, I like fishing. It's kind of fun. It also trains one's patience. Just like in a real fight, one must wait for the enemy to strike. <gasps> That's so good for you! The hammer of justice is always ready! N no! Don't encourage her! I fish so I can take my mind off of battle! Millie, why'd you gotta make everything about killing stuff? Do not fool yourself. Fishing is killing stuff. That's true. Most things involve bloodshed. Best get used to it, child. She has a point. <sighs> You guys just don't get it. I like how Sir Grant and I are like apparently of the same mind. <laughs> Alright, let's go out. Hey there. Sap you? Pretty good. Now that the wolves aren't going to be a problem, going through the forest should be a piece of cake. It won't be. Nice. Maybe we can start looking for that ocarina again. Not giving up on that one, huh? Of course not. Now let's get going. Alright, alright. I'm with you. The forest awaits! Heave ho! Glad to see you, kiddo. You ready to go? Let's That's do it. That's the spirit! Let's head off then! Oh my gosh. We're actually getting pretty close to being done. What the? Bandits! Hello, bandit. Like, bandit babe. Oh no. <laughs> How do bandits work? This isn't good. Alright, uh. Let's do a cheer first and just see how this goes. <coughs> Oof, they do a lot of damage. Very inspiring. For my own secret stash. <coughs> you, are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. We just need to be careful. This chick does some crazy damage. Gotcha. Watch out for crazy chick. Got it. Okay. Heals. <coughs> Yeah, nice. You got the goods, kiddo? Nine. There we go. Yep. Did you see that? Yes, they were all working together. That is really interesting, actually. I hadn't thought about that. What the hell is going on around here? I think it's a Gre uh, Gregnack like, advanced party kind of thing. Stage 10 cleared, mission clear reward, blah, 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 blah. 434 gold obtained. Excellent. Oh, hey, Giselle. Y yes? How's it going? Let's give you some thing. Hmm. A flower. Thanks, I guess. Okay, that was something. Better than nothing. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Giselle. What you doing? Research. Cool. What kind of research? A cure. Wow. Is there a cure for the flu? Runner's foot? The red plague? The plague. No. What is it then, Giselle? Forget it. Oh. Okay then. Did I say something wrong? She, it's like talking to a wall, man. I just don't get it with Giselle. Alright, let's go round off our training at the barracks. Time for some squarely gains. Hey, hey! Oh yeah! I'm feeling the burn. Hey, kiddo. You think you're hot stuff now, huh? Yep. Feeling real good, Hugh. I can take on anything. <laughs> Let's see about that. Remember that time when I made you run 20 laps around the barracks in heavy armor? Yeah? Why? Let's make it 40 laps this time. What? Run now, questions later. 
Right! Go, boy, go! So, you feeling the burn now? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Very funny, Hugh! To be honest, I didn't think you'd make it. I'm surprised. Yeah. Well, joke's on you! I guess it is, kiddo. Good job. We're done for today. Finally! So, so tired. <laughs> You're getting there, kiddo. You're getting there. We're close. Yes, all your loot belongs to us. Uh, limit break for taunt is unlocked. You can use this skill during the campaign. Wonder what that's limit break for loot as well. Oh, so that's probably for getting all of them up to level seven. So they can just like hoover up all the money. All right, now I don't think I can get to bed in time, but we're gonna try. Yep. I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow, but you know what? That's okay, I'll live. God, that's so much lost time though. Ugh, it hurts. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go see if there's anything interesting going on today. I'm gonna buy some gifts. Please spread the word. A night of magic and mystery await those who witness Serena's magic show. Ooh, that sounds fun. Shut up, Serena. Greetings, Squire. Would you like to buy a ticket for my magic show? Are you giving them up for free? Of course not. Bummer. Hmm. If you'd really want to be there for free, I could use an assistant. Yes, you seem perfect for the job. Okay. Nah, wouldn't want to give you any chances to saw me in half. <laughs> I know how you work. Aw, won't you do this for me? Oh no, your charms won't work this time. Now I will have to think of some other way to get rid of you. Why, hello there, Squire. Oh, I must say, your plaza is certainly a charming place. Marketplaces always remind me of home. Really? I'm glad you like it so much. Yeah, yeah. Most Cerulean's just complain about the crowds. Uh, really? But crowds mean that the city is functioning. They are the lifeblood of the kingdom. They are, but it doesn't mean this is fun. More people means more buyers. More buyers means more wealth. It also means more jerks shoving you around. That is correct. But such is the price of prosperity. Okay. Done some good conversationally. Time for us to go and figure out something else to do. I either want to go to archives or tavern. Let's do... Okay, real quick. Do you want to see my wares? Thank you for your generous... Alright, let's go to the archives. Cause I, healing, I think, is the backbone of everything I do. But... Do you not have duties to attend to, Squire? I do, but hang on. I want to give you something. Ah, a tribute for your future queen. Splendid. Good, good. Beatrice, Beatrice went up. Let's oh, talk to her. you're back. I probably can't talk to her because I think I've exhausted all of her conversations yes? already. Is there any? Yeah, there's nothing else I can do here. Beast mode. Oh, really? I see. Oh, it's so expensive. <laughs> Apple pie, more. Huh, really? I see. Not again. All right, home we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. See then. Oh, there's something going on at the barracks. Let's go check that out. And there's something at the castle. Fetch. Oh, it's good you dropped by. There won't be any training today. Oh, why? No problem, Hugh. I wasn't really feeling it either. But there is something else we need to do. Yeah, yeah. Like what? 
War preparations! The princess wants her weekly reports, and you get to listen in. You are not bad. I have a good chance for us to understand what's going on. All day? Of course! Oh. Sounds like a waste of time. Squire, this is the war we're talking about. You could learn a thing or two. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to learn. Really? I thought you wanted to know more. Given how much you panicked last time, I thought I'd fill you in. I'm good. Don't worry. I got this. You act like you've got a choice in this. <laughs> Fine. <Like>, dang it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> apple tarts. Don't mind if I do. You? You should have told me that would be food. I wouldn't have given you such a hard time. Uh, Squire, we're not here for that, but whatever makes you happy, I guess. Don't want one? No, thanks. Just don't forget to pay attention. I won't. Gotcha. Look, it's starting. Keep your wits about you. Ew, this one's got nuts in them. How barbaric. Oh, yeah, the epitome of barbarism. Uh, when's it gonna end? I could be training right now. Sir Hugh, your report, please. Oh, it's Hugh's turn. I got this I gotta see. We continue to receive arms from Eredil, your grace, but... Out with it, Sir Hugh. They were short this time. The Blacksmith's Guild is against the Alliance. The Guildmaster wanted you to know that he does not take orders from a child. And, uh... uh... Spit it out! He also called your hair drills fake... <gasps> The audacity! Sir Hugh, did you remind him of his duties to this realm? Of course, Your Grace, but he wouldn't... Then remind him again, and sternly this time. I will try, Princess. There is no try, Sir Hugh. Do it. Yes, ma'am. As you command, Your Grace. Looks like Hugh's got his work cut out for him. Sir Grand, how goes the training? Yeah. On schedule, Your Highness. <laughs> However, oh my, bad news again. It'd be so funny to be like, hey, Phil, like, 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 wave. I am sorry, princess. Delightful. Training will be delayed if we continue to have these equipment shortages. Domino effect, don't get equipment from the guild, you don't get training. And if this goes on, I'm afraid that we will be ill prepared for combat. Hear that, Sir Hugh. Do your job properly. Hey, I, I mean, I'm trying. Princess. I expect better news next time, Sir Hugh, and less of the word try. Truth be told, we would not be having these problems if the Marshal attended to his duties. Case in point, his absence. Shall we send for another messenger? That won't be necessary. Oh, I sound like this guy's gonna be fun. Yes, it's him. He was the judge who didn't judge. Wow, Marshal's right on cue, like he timed his entrance or something. He's got an occur he's got an entourage of nobles as well. I apologize for being late. Oh please, Marshal Flinkman. If you wanted that excuse to work, perhaps you should not have arrived two hours after the meeting has started. Well, forgive me for being busy, Prince. Busy? Busy sewing descent, I presume? I have legitimate concerns about the Alliance, Your Highness. And I assure you. It is not just me. It's really interesting because this alliance does seem more and more to be kind of, maybe not wildly unpopular, but it's got a very substantial amount of the population who doesn't like it. I will not have you rambling in my court. Not again. With me are nobles who share my sentiments. Will you not listen to your own subjects? Very well. I shall let you all whine. But please do so concisely. Oof, harsh. This court has little time for matters that have already been decided. The marshal makes his way to the center of the room. My lords and ladies, I am not here to antagonize anyone. I am simply here to reveal the folly of accepting those who rejected us before. Did you just call the majority of this court fools? I did not, your highness. The Alcozi promise us trade and wealth. But these promises may have misguided you all. We have had this argument a hundred times, Marshal. Then you know, we seek <sighs> accountability, Princess. Yeah, a lot of this has to come down to these pirates and, like, what they did. The Alcozi are here. Let them answer for their negligence. You know very well how they cannot do that right now. 
I have lost a home, your oh, highness. Oh, it's personal. That makes much more sense now, actually. I saw my grandfather die that day. He gave everything to build Bordemer. Okay, I can... I knew he was kind of like a stick-up-the-butt kind of guy. I didn't realize he had a personal investment in it. That makes a lot of sense now. My family has protected Cerulea's coast for generations. Yet you befriend these opportunistic foreigners. We do not need their help against these barbarians. We've stood up against worse before. Al this alliance will be the cornerstone of my rule, Lord Flinkman. I will not be known as the princess who sat around and did nothing. Now, enough of this. Return to your duties at once. This isn't over, mm. princess. I'll show you all one day. I will be back with a vengeance. Yep, sounds like he's not going to totally be a problem. Wow, what a dramatic exit. The throne room has gone quiet. My lords and ladies, shall we proceed to more important matters? Forgive me for that unnecessary distraction. Oh no. Don't think he's an idle threat. After a few more hours, the meeting's finally done. Uh, Hugh's still talking to some knights. Crap. Hmm, what to do? Oh, Sir Grand's over there. Maybe I can finally get an autograph in. Sir Grand, a moment if you would. I, it's kind of assuming that, like, we have already, like, figured out Sir Grant's identity. Oh, I... Yes, Princess? You are, of course, aware of the Marshal's recent outbursts. I apologize for burdening you with his duties. I live to serve, Princess. Honestly, I am grateful for your enthusiasm. Although, I wish I could say the same for everyone else. Yeah, sounds rough right now. In time... The Marshal's disagreement will surely become detrimental to the Alliance. If not her before. Might I suggest something, Your Highness? What is it? Could you visit our troops during training? What for? You said something about enthusiasm, Princess. If our soldiers see your determination, they might pick up on it as well. Something to boost morale, you say? I am not so sure if I have the time, Sir Grand. I barely have time for myself, and... You there! Squire! Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yes? Huh? Did Sir Grand notice me? Of course, does she know that I was here the whole time? M me? Yes, you. Sir Hugh Squire. Yeah, this feels like we've uh, got stepped out of the timeline a bit here. I, I am. Greetings, Sir Grand. Y your Highness. You can relax. I just wanted your opinion on something. What do you think of the princess visiting our barracks from time to time? The princess? Oh, please, Sir Grand. What could a squire possibly contribute to this conversation? I don't know. I'm one of the grunts. You squire, at that. Fair. Fair point. Uh, well... Oh boy, what do I say? I think Sir Grand is right. Sir Grand's right, your highness. It'd be nice for soldiers to know more about the lady we're fighting for. There you have it, princess. Very well. I shall consider your proposition, Sir Grand. Now, let us be off. There are more important matters to attend to. That sucks that, like, she doesn't have time for herself at all. Like, her job is horrifically stressful. But it's a necessary duty of someone who's so, like, centralized. And, like, like that's the thing. is like, the, the seriousness and the consistent nature of the duty of the royalty is supposed to be offset by the luxuriousness and the, like, the the palace and the trappings and the, the plentiful food and like not having any of your like like physical tangible needs are all met and in return you're expected to give everything to the kingdom like that's how it's supposed to be that's what the nobility was originally intended to be like that's the sale pitch that you gave to the to the peasantry to help them you know support you as, as a ruler it, tradition started to dictate things over time but essentially that's what these like leaders are supposed to be like they have their temporal needs met by the work of others so they can focus on the needs of the kingdom. Of course, princess. And thank you for your time, squire. No problem. And here I thought I'd be being royalty would be easy. Yeah, nope, that's the thing. Royalty doing its proper job should not be easy at all. Ancient Beatrice increased by 100 points, additional 70. New topics of Beatrice have been locked. Nice. Okay. Speaking of which... Got something. Old silverware. Yes? What do you want? Let's talk about likes. Princess! I was wondering, what sort of stuff does a princess like? 
I bet you've got some pretty fancy tastes. As a matter of fact, I receive gifts on a daily basis. From purebred stallions to diamond-encrusted necklaces. Oh, then why does she like our gifts? <laughs> it has become quite tiresome, honestly. Oof. I wish my subjects would resort to more creative ideas when it comes to giving me gifts. Like what? I see, princess. Interesting. Excellent features, grade by 10. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go work on archives. Probably only get one session in because we did a lot of talk talking to people today, but that's all right. Interesting. So that goes there. Actually, it looks like I can get a second one in. So oh. much to do, so much to Should've read. Should have talked to Giselle. Oh, well. I need to go get some more money. And so tomorrow, let's go out on the town and go and collect some moolah. Okay, things are going well. Very, very well. He's making me on. Uh, dang it. Oh, Amy's gone. What what that's all about. Crap. Well, I couldn't have gone out anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. And then probably talk to Vale at some point today. Ah, the castle. Look at all the fancy things I can't afford. Now this looks pretty. I wonder how much. Oh. Crap. What do I do? What do I do? You. Hold. Your Highness, we are not yet done. Relax, Shira. Even a Ragni like you needs some rest. And you, I said halt. Oh, no, I'm so dead. M me Yes, you. I command you to stop. Oh. I didn't do anything. It was Hugh's idea. I swear by my squirely honor. Please, have mercy. I don't want to lose my head. <laughs> lose your head? I was just passing by. Please don't kill me. <laughs> You are an odd one. Oh, yeah. Princess Kamala? An odd one, indeed. Uh, who's she again? Her handmaid? Uh, I'm in real deep crap. What a fortunate meeting, Squire. I'm in need of your assistance. Oh, me? What do you need help with, Princess? Worry not. It shall not take more than an hour of your time. You have my word, friend. Okay. Your Highness, lest you forget. Shira, there is no need to worry. I have not forgotten why I'm here. Then? But it can wait. I shall make sure that we will have the time for it later. Today, I simply want to do whatever I wish. Now come, let us be off, Squire. <sighs> you... You have not changed. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I like we're a convenient excuse, but hey, we're a date. I thought Princess Kamala's gonna say more, but she just grabs my arm and drags me away. Come, Squire! What's going on here? Wait, wait! Jumping Lady of the Lake, that's what they call a date? More of a date of convenience, but yeah, I'd say it's a date. Oh, that one is gorgeous! Shopping trip. Oh, that too! I adore the pattern on that one! I should have seen this coming. Date in your dreams, Protag. But hey, I get to be close to Princess Kamala, no complaints there. This beats Hugh's crappy training any day. Squire, please add this to the collection as well. Uh, your highness. Do you really need more shoes? You only have two feet. Nonsense! Footwear is mankind's most important invention ever. Thanks to footwear, our feet can remain pure and clean. In Alcos, feet are seen as an object of sexual desire. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a paradise for some people. Not particularly me. Actually, very much not me. I don't predict, I don't I guess I have a problem with feet, but I definitely have never found like the appeal of feet. If anything, I tend to get grossed out by feet. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm willing to like, like uh, give like foot massage. Like I've done that uh, for, you know, significant others before, but I'm not a huge fan of that. I just simply understand that like when you've had a long day being on your feet, it can be really, really nice. And so it's kind of like a, like a gift. And that's kind of the idea is like, sometimes gifts are just doing things that you're not super comfortable with, but like, 
for me, it's not like, ooh, mm, like sexually charged. For me, it's just like, ugh, just get this done and go wash my hands. I just, I don't like dealing with feet. It's not for me. So keep that in Alcos. <laughs> Bet a couple of guys at the barracks could change your mind about that. Yeah. Anyway. Don't you have servants to help you with this sort of stuff? What do you think we are? You are correct, but having them with me would simply defeat the purpose of today. Shopping? I must see Cerulea on my own, through the eyes of its people. By shopping? Indeed! I don't get it. Because before I am a princess, Squire, I am a diplomat. If I am to make this alliance work, I have to... No. I must understand your people and your culture. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I'm guessing that she's also here to forge some kind of alliance. Like, I, I'm guessing that she's here essentially to be a political, like, vessel. So she's going to probably be seeking an arranged marriage with, like, a, a, a nobleman of the land to help kind of solidify this, uh, this alliance. And so... I'm guessing that she just wanted to have a reprieve from that constant, like, threat hanging over her head. Just wanted to have a day to herself to go and kind of get to know this home, this land, which would probably is about to become her new homeland. Why not just ask the princess? Beatrice is pleasant company, I would give her that. But we are, uh, we are too much alike. To put it simply, there are things I could never learn within the walls of the castle or in her company. Things that... You would never hear others say within earreach of the people who rule them. True. And that is what I wish to see. But enough talk! Come! There is another shop at the end of that street! Wait, we aren't done yet? What are you talking about? We have barely even begun! It's already been an hour! Oh no! So, which of these are for your mother again? <laughs> None! All of these are for me, silly! We shall move on to that soon. Oh, gosh. Does she need ten pairs as well? More than! My Ema deserves the best! Uh. Hold, Squire. Do you smell that? I'm, I, I, I swear I've been bathing regularly. It's not me! I took a <laughs> bath this morning! Uh, it's probably the fish! No! The smell is of spices! They must have come all the way from home. Come, Squire! Let us visit the spice merchants! Ah, nice. Well, at least we're done with shoes. Ah, Princess Kamala! You grace our market with your presence. I'm surprised your father finally let you out of his sight. Thank you, Lady Taliha. I see you're here for the black peppers. Of course. If we weren't trading with Alcos, all the food in this bloody kingdom would taste horrible. I am glad you enjoy them. Uh, do you mind if I accompany you for now? Could you imagine living in the older world where spices were like, a, like most people didn't get them? Like, can you imagine like, what if we only had like salt and pepper and even then, like, that was a luxury to have for, like, a majority of your cooking. And then, like, what would it be like to get those spices? There's a reason why the spice trade was so lucrative back in the day. Because it, like, just took everything that was really boring and, like, made it new and exciting. And now we all are super spoiled because of, like, world trade. Of course not. Since we're on the topic of spices, let me point you to my go-to woman. Ah, oh, my lady, here for the usual pound of pepper, eh? And why, if it isn't the princess herself? Right you are. Princess, isn't it funny how such a small thing could cost so much gold? No, it makes sense, though. Yes, prices are higher than usual, unfortunately. Until we have fully secured the trade routes in the Euphira Sea, I'm afraid it is going to stay that way for a while. But that's why you're here, isn't it? An alliance for the betterment of our people. Well, at least some people appreciate it. That is my hope, yes. Excellent. I pray that you succeed, your highness. I... Uh, thank you. Besides, what is life without a little spice, yes? Indeed. As expensive as it is, I could not live without this in my food. And this is fine black pepper, too. Tell me... Where in Alcos did you get this from? I bought them near the docks district, your highness. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I smell a handful? Spices remind me of home. Oh, uh, of course. A squire, would you fetch me a cup of water as well? I am thirsty. Are we taking a break? 
Yes. Please make sure it is a large cup. Okay. Finally. Put all the stuff down. It's like, yes! <laughs> I appreciate this chat of ours, princess. However, I must see to other business. Good day, m'lady. Oh, please, Lady Taliha, I insist you stay. There is this trick with spices that I want to show you. You a magician now, your highness? Squire, you are back. Please, watch this as well. Okay. She places a couple on the spice merchant's table. I wonder if she'll turn into wine like the fertility god did in the stories. If you're really set on this, princess, I could spare a moment. Interesting. Excellent! I wonder what's up here. Now, you must know, my lady, that I was surrounded by all kinds of spices as a child. My father made sure of that. Of course, Raba also taught me about her weight in gold. Raba... Is that the handmaid, right? So maybe she's not really a handmaid, more of like a like a like a like a trainer. G good for you, princess. Now could I have that back? They'll get spoiled. Silence, you. Let her finish the trick first. I can pay for any damages. Th that's not the point. Princess Kamala dropped a handful of the spices into the cup. Milady, you must know that I'll cause the black peppers should sink in water. Oh oh. But if you take a look at this cup, the Floating? Those are not peppers. They are seeds. Orea seeds, to be exact. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! We gotta scare her! This trick is what we commonly use to find swindling spice merchants in Alcos. Oh! I... Wait! Uh-ohs. Lady Taliha, that woman is a fraud. Lady, this isn't what it looks like. Swindler! Fiend! Degenerate! You and your kind ruined Cerulea's economy! Our kingdom has no place for you and your black market dealings! Guards! Guards! Arrest this woman! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe she got scammed, too. It's not unreasonable. But she does have a pretty strong reaction to all this. Finally! Some action! Alright, Protag. Okay. What did the Squire Hood for Dummy say about stuff like this again? Hmm. Ultimate technique or protect the princess? Oh, gotta keep the princess safe first. Stand back, princess. Let me handle this. Oh, wait, squire. You don't have to. Don't worry, princess. I got this. Get down. Squire, no. What are you doing? Uh oh. Whoa. Uh princess, don't stop me. Let it be, squire. It is already being handled. But, but I wanted to. The merchant tries to run, but a couple guards eventually catch her. Princess, thank you. I am in your debt. It is nothing, Lady Taliha. Whether in Arcos or Cerulea, such dishonest trade will not be allowed ever. Fertility God bless you, Princess. I will remember this day. Mm. Master Drake will hear of this, you. You godforsaken heathen! Ooh, Master Drake, who's that? You money grubbing, no cozy dogs. Ooh. Your kind already makes it harder for us merchants here. Now you're getting us arrested! Uh oh. Stop sticking your noses in our business, you bitch! You will not speak of her highness in such a manner! My apologies, Princess Kamala. I'll make sure that she is duly punished. Again, like I was talking about, like, there's this undercurrent of not happiness going on with this, like, alliance. It seems very, like... It's very charged, which is really interesting. Like, I wouldn't expect so much political intrigue to be caught up in a story like this one. But again, like, the story and the writing is surprising me. I... I... Are you all right, princess? Y yes I'm fine. Very well. Guards, to the dungeons with a fool! Hey, Princess Kamala. You sure you're okay? It seems the tensions between our people run deep. Yeah, apparently. I did not mean to cause such trouble. My mission is to simply spread the goodwill of my kingdom to yours. Uh, hopefully, with this alliance, your people's opinion about my kingdom will slowly change. It would be most beneficial, especially, especially when we're all on the brink of war. Uh -huh. uh, princess? It is nothing. I simply remembered something. Now come, we have one last shop to visit before we return to the palace. Uh oh. But you already bought a lot. Yeah. I think I deserve a bit more as a reward for exposing the spice caper. Oh, someone help me. 
Oh, good grief. Look at all that time. A multitude of things for this day, Squire. Oh, wow. I hope to do this again soon. Your attentiveness was appreciated. I must say that I am fully enjoying Cerulea. I should dismiss you now. I apologize for taking too much of your time. Eh, uh, fine. <laughs> I actually don't mind if you take more of it. <laughs> you are really an odd one. Yeah. <laughs> then I hope you also would not mind if I ask for a tour of your farm. Oh, that sounds interesting. Huh? Did she just... Oh, is this a big one? What should I tell her? Sure thing. Really? The farm? Indeed. Well, that's new. Okay, then. That would be marvelous, Squire. Oh, crap. That means I gotta clean. I gotta weed the farm. I gotta wash Bessie. I gotta... Uh, are you okay, Squire? If it is too much trouble... No, no, it's fine. Totally fine, Your Highness. Bessie would be delighted. To <laughs> sure she would. I see. Well, I am ecstatic to meet this Bessie of yours, too. Oh, no. I suppose this settles it, then? Yeah. Holy crap, the princess. The princess of Alcos in my home. Are you sure about this, Your Highness? There's really nothing much to see there. Oh, nonsense. I am sure it has plenty to offer. Besides, I would like to meet the person who raised such a hard-working squire. Aha. Uh -huh. Your robber must be a great person. Wait. Wait. What? Uh, well, worry not. It does not have to be tomorrow. I shall give you time to prepare. She wants to meet our dad. Wait! For now, farewell, squire. Does this mean... Does this mean that the princess is interested in... Me? <laughs> so this is the date after all. No. God, that was so much time though. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, but we got her up to the next level and her birthday's in the calendar. The sad thing though is if I remember correctly, we well missed her birthday at this point. Let's go see Vale real quick. I gotta at least say hi to her and then we'll go to the archives. All right, then. You said you wanted to train? Yes, Sir Greg! Oh, yes. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, I get so hyped! Very well. In that case, let's start with a sparring match. I want to see how you fare in combat. Terribly. Can't believe it. Personal lessons from Sir Grant herself. This is gonna be awesome! But before we start, Vel, we best take off the armor. Oh, right! Huh? Why? Why? Well... If Millie and I try to take you on at full power, well... <laughs> Best we avoid breaking your spine on the first day of training, boy. Oh, snap! <laughs> ah, I see. Good point. Though, actually, there's another reason. Mm -hmm. Vel, I think this might also be a good opportunity for you to sharpen your skills without the armor. After all, you never know when you'll be caught off guard without it. That's true. Just think of this as an extension of your previous training. Got it, Millie. Okay, both of you. Let's start with the basics. I want you to... Uh... What? What is it? So, uh, Matilda, when Bell's not wearing you, you just sort of sit there? Yes. As strong as I am, without Bell to move me around, I am simply a stationary suit of armor. Dang. <laughs> Doesn't this feel... I don't know. Weird? Creepy? Why? Like, Sir Grand's armor. Just sort of watching us. Nah, you'll get used to it. All right, now back on track. We start with the basics. Simple hand-to-hand -hand combat. All right. Begin now! All right, it's finally time for that rematch I've always wanted. We're about to die. And we finally had our match. Now, I'll show you my secret squire techniques. No! <laughs> <laughs> that, that hurt! What was... That. I was kind of going for a cool looking roundhouse kick. Oh, we act we hurt ourselves. Your poor balance leaves you vulnerable. You put all your weight onto one leg. Your timing is also off. You started your attack before Vel was even close. And let's not even talk about your form. Practically non-existent. Ugh. Um, it might also help if you stop talking in the middle of battle. Announcing your secret squire techniques makes it really easy to predict your movements. Right. But but that's the coolest part about fighting. <sighs> we have a long way to go. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Oh, well. Relationship with Vale increased by 30 points. 
Nice. Very nice. All right, I want to give you that gift still. You want to talk? I also have uh, another compass for you. Wow, you didn't have to. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Nation of Veil increased by 17 and 11 points. You, you want to talk? Townsfolk. So, oh, about the people around town. Oh, well, there's Princess Beatrice. She's always so nice to us. She always offers me pastries. I always have to refuse, though. You know, gotta keep up the strong knight image since stuffing a cream puff down my helmet would look kind of silly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I may add, I do appreciate our horseback riding sessions with her. She also has the soul of a warrior, that one. You can see it in the way she rides. Posture firm, eyes straight ahead. Whoa. I always knew Sir Gran was sworn to protect the princess. But it sounds like you guys are pretty close. Well, not exactly. Though we are her champion, we make sure to keep it professional. That's true. I mean, she obviously doesn't know about the secret. Yeah. Also, it's probably for the best she doesn't find out about the whole magic armor thing. Makes our job simpler. Yeah, but it sounds lonely. Ice your veil. Graced up. Alright. Whoa, hello. Ah, what a day. Time for some Pamu time. Is that Pamu? What's she doing here at this hour? I better go check. Oh no. Oh no. Why does she have a phone? And why is she- Why? Whoa. Oh, I think I shouldn't be here. I may not be in that pigeon game yet, but at least this gig's way better than Crush Crush. What the fetch are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, just look at the detail on my boobs. Pam is finally moving up in the world. What is happening? Pidget's crush, crush, what is she talking about? Oh, whatever, I better leave. I don't want to cause that. Oh, crap. Scene. Crap. Hey, who's lurking around back there? I want answers. Uh, hey there, Pamu. Nice night, huh? Look. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, it's just you. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> huh, I should have expected this. I mean, you are the main character. All right, yeah, it's a, it's a definite break of the, break of the uh, fourth wall here. You gotta see us all naked, I guess. I'm, I'm the what now? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. Don't worry your pretty little virgin head about it. C could you stop calling me that? Aw, you know, not to be a total cliche or anything, but you're kind of cute when you get angry. <laughs> oh, she's so aggravating. <laughs> but it's too bad. Tragic, really. This will be as far as we go. It's a damn shame. I'd probably be best girl if they gave me my own root. Real waifu material over here. <laughs> Your own what? You're not making any sense, lady. Yeah, I guess I should stop this and go back to being Little Miss Grand Archivist, huh? Yeah, this is super meta. Alrighty then. Do you want to make sense out of this? Yes, please. Then repeat after me. These totally original magic words. Oh, boy. Wubble of a dub dub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds kind of dumb. Just say them. Fine. Wubba laba. Go, magic wand! Yeah! Hey, no! Don't throw that! Oof. Ow! My head! Good night, sweet prince. Ugh. Great. Just great. Whoa, what the? Oh, my head hurts. What the heck happened? So we're just bedtime now. Okay. Fetch. Just unlocked. We, we stumbled upon a secret, like, moment. And it killed the rest of my time! <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> I need one training session. One more. And I could have gotten the next level of heal. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get going any further, I should check the calendar. Get out of here, bug. Alright, so today is the 25th. The start of the week. Yeah, there's nothing really going on this week, but yeah, like back here is Princess Kamala's birthday, so we already missed that. I really wonder what if we're gonna be able to get veils up to Fertility Day, uh, Giselle's birthday. We know that one. So yeah, 
I hope we get to figure that out. But anyway, time for us to go about our day, finishing up our activities, but we're probably just gonna go out and make some money. Yeah. But we'll spend some time with Vale. It's handy that she's out here, with our adventuring buddy. Hi. Hey, Vale. Let's give you Jesse milk. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Been uh, training? Hobbies. Got any other hobbies? Oh, Millie and I play King's Board all the time. Right, that's the scene we interrupted. Oh, I know that. That's the game where you have to move around Squire and Knight pieces so you can capture the other guy's king. Yep. It's one of the few things that we can do together without people staring at us weird. Indeed. <sighs> Though Vel here has the bad habit of always choosing the white pieces. What's wrong with that? You put yourself at a tactical disadvantage by letting your enemy know your first move. Yeah, but you also get to set the, set the, uh, the tone. In a real battle, the one who reacts is the one who wins. Not to mention your use of the knight pieces. I don't understand why you move them so often. They're fun. But I think knights are cool. They can jump over things. They lack the board control of the other pieces. Just because they are called knights doesn't mean they necessarily reflect the strength of their real-world counterparts. Oh, I had no idea the game is that intense. I just always thought it was cool to feel like you were commanding an army. The King's Board is a test of intellect. A thought exercise meant to train soldiers in strategy. It is not enough to simply feel cool. It can feel cool, though. Oh, okay. I'll remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, they all increase. All right, Sir Hugh. You up for an adventure? Let's go. That's the spirit. Let's head off, then. Okay. Level 11. Let's see if we can do it. Kiddo, oh, watch fetch. how an MVP does it. That's... Don't fail me, Hugh. That's a lot. I gotta be real careful here. <laughs> so we got another limit break. Right. If we have another round, we'll be all set. There we go. Wave four. You look, it's that wolf again, but but he's different. Yep. It is, kiddo. Looks like he mastered using his med kit. Uh, how do you know that? I, yeah, I just do. Okay. So maybe you can attack and heal. Let's see what this is like. Oh. You don't let her down. My sword is the sword that will pierce the heavens! I don't know what the barrier does, but that could be really bad. <laughs> See that, kiddo? Aside from healing, that wolf can also give a protective barrier to his allies. It reduces incoming damage. My attacks damage. won't be effective if we let it have its way. Try looting those pesky barriers. Disarming those barriers will stun them for a good while. That'll give us a chance to hit hard. Gotcha! So looting them, huh? I'm coming for that food! Very nice. You find anything good? Got some achievements. Do another loot. But it's another opportunity for looting. Like it's like we get money and we can like reduce like damage and stuff. In your face, generic bad guys! They can't beat us! Hey, it's we're we're getting closer to the end. Stage eleven cleared. Mission clear. Da 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 da. Six hundred forty-seven gold. Yes. All right, we got lots of training we can do now. To the archives. And we'll talk to just that. Yes. Uh, we got some Bessie milk for you. I like it. 
Thanks. Thank you. All right, and we'll give her a talking to. Yes. Hey, Giselle, you have a special place in this town? A place where you can relax. The tavern. What? Are you serious? Yes. Sweat, shouting, stink, crowds. You like that? I love it. What? You're kidding, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for a moment that you were replaced by an evil twin or something. Yes. Stop screwing with me. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I should put Giselle's increased by 10, 7, and 7 points. So much to do, so much to read. Yes, yes, yes. More, more. <laughs> now I can use more than 10% of my brain. Yes, excellent. Come back! Drinks are on me! Hey there, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Eric, star compass. What the? This is amazing! Thank you! Thank you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17, 11 points. You, you want to talk? Let's see. Hobbies. So, Val, what other stuff do you like? Hmm. Another thing I used to like doing was swimming. Same here. You got a nice tan, water feels great. Those girls in swimsuits. Nice priorities you got there. Hey, hey, hey. At least I'm honest. Hey! Well, in my case, learning how to swim was kind of a requirement. Since back in my hometown, we lived so close to the sea. The lakes here are still great, though not as big or as salty. But hey, I'll take what I can get. When you're swimming through water, it's kind of like you're flying. Your body doesn't matter. Just floating above everything, drifting away. Ah, I do like to swim. Hmm, that does sound nice. It does indeed. I should have veil increased by uh, 10 and 7 points. All right. End of the day. Doing good, doing good. I'm feeling, feeling good. Been training? Oh, I thought of someone else, Squire. Who? Yeah? That nurse at the infirmary. She visits my fish stall sometimes. She's interesting. She looks for the strange types of fish, and she doesn't care about the taste. She says it's for research. Sh should I be worried? I don't think so. I'm not really sure. Why do you sound so nervous? Do you think she's going to create some sort of fish monster? Because if that's the case, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Surely a mad alchemist fish monster is no match for the strength of Sir Grant. I don't know. <laughs> that's true. But, but still, a giant fish with scales and bulging eyes... That would be so scary. Not to mention, they might want personal revenge on the fish stall. Sir Grand versus a mad nurse's fish monster! That sounds amazing. Oh, can that be the title of your next Sir Grand book? Next book? There are more? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, you didn't know? There's a whole series about uh -oh. your nightly exploits. What? No one ever told us that. Wait, you're not getting kickbacks from that? There's even a choose your own adventure one! Where the readers get to go on a date with the dashing and strong Sir Grand. Whoa, a choose your own adventure where you go on dates with people? That sounds creepy. Why would anyone do that? What? No! Just who is this author? No one's ever asked us for permission. We want royalty. That's it. That's right. Hmm. Perhaps we should visit the library one of these days. What? Don't tell me you're interested, Millie. Maybe she wants to date herself through the books. <laughs> you up for an adventure? All right, let's go. All right, epic loot, here we come. I'm wondering if we can handle level 12. I'm guessing no, but we're going to give it a shot. There, got to get that one. Bonk. Bonk. Now that was the good stuff. Oh, I didn't get it. That, came from. that sucks. Okay, 
So he only does the shield once. I gotta keep that in mind next time so I get my uh, my uh, battle uh, rhythm down. Wait. All right, are we using the ultimate flex? Let's see what this does. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I like heal when they hit me. That's fun. You better not die. Do this Hot thing. singles in your area, Hugh. Survive this attack? Who the hell do you think I am? Slice and dice. <laughs> Woo! That was a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Careful. You want to get out alive, remember? I'll try. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. We get a good haul? Wait for it. Crap. Okay. Um, heal. Support is on the way. We definitely need this. And then we can probably survive a cheer so we can take out the heal dog. I, I think I just saw heaven. I guess there's no fixing your head. Find anything good? Mine. I need healing, kid. Yeah, I know, I know. We just gotta get this round done. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Tom, hey, don't piss him off too much. Whew, this is a, this is a. I'll try. Yeah, this this proves I need to I need to get some level ups before I go hunting All again. According to Kekaku. Confident, aren't we? But we did it. We managed to clear the level. Got a lot of gold. Thanks. You're the best. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a solid reaction. 17, 11 points. Y yes. I should talk about something else. Um... What's up, Giselle? So, aside from the nurse thing, do you have any hobbies on the side? Gardening. Oh, neat! I grew up on a farm, you know. I'm also pretty good with plants. Farm plants are simple. I use delicate herbs, rare ones, huh? for my research. I'm sure. So, it's not really a hobby then, is it? Like, it's still part of your job? I guess so. Well, if you like what you do. There's the Giselle's gone up. All right. Oh, there's something at the tavern. Let's go do that. Oh, my God. Oh, what? What? What did I tell you? Oh, another drinking contest? <laughs> As expected of Sir Grand. Seriously, just give up. Damn it. Give me a few minutes. Oh, the next round. You couldn't even handle your liquor. 
But look at me talk like I'm any different. <laughs> what are you talking about? N nothing. You're just hearing things. C come on. Since you're so determined to lose again, let's just get the next round started. The bottom's up. Just like that, she chugs down her drink in a matter of seconds. And another. And another. And another. Uh Done. Holy crap, did we actually get her to her limit? Crap, she's gotten way ahead of me. Damn it. I can't lose like this. Let me. <sighs> I think I'm gonna puke. Uh, well. <sighs> Why am I doing this to myself? Um, are you okay? I just wanna, I just wanna be like, <gasps> Like, Millie, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Is this just the ale talking, or...? No! Well, yes, but... Is it so bad that I wanna... Uh, I wanna be like her? No. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Do what? You know what? Acting tough. Getting into... Fights with these, uh, these, these drunk louts, drinking ale day and night, just like, uh, just like she told me she used to do back home. But, but I don't want to hurt people. I don't even like ale. It tastes awful. Aw, Val. I thought, I thought if I could be like that too, I could be like Millie. I could be strong. You are strong. But y you're, you're already, um, you know who. Who? Who are you talking about? You, you twat. Wait, wait. You know, Sir Grand. Aren't you already strong? Shh, not so loud. And don't call me that when I'm not wearing the armor. Oh, right. Shh. <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me at all. It's all just Millie. It's all uh, her. Mm. I'm just, I'm just helping. Help, do you understand now? I lost a lot of things that day, all right? So I have to be strong. Like, like Millie strong, got it? But doing it like this, doing it every day, I don't even know if I'm still, if I'm still... Looks like she's run out of things to say. Well, okay. You say so. And if you ask me, I think you're fine on your own. Huh? What are you going on about? You wanna fight? No! I mean, do you really think you need to be like... Everyone, please settle down. We're just here to talk. That's usually not what people who just want to talk say. Oh. Oh. It's that guy again. Oh, no. My fellow Ceruleans, our cries and plea continue to fall on deaf ears. The crown refuses to listen. The solution. We need a louder voice. One they cannot ignore. Oh boy. Please, if you care about this kingdom, our kingdom, join us. What happened in Bortimer must not be forgotten. Wow. He sure sounds way too enthusiastic for something he called just talk. Come on, Squire. Let's get out of here. Huh? Wait. Are you sure you can walk? Do you want to rest for a bit? I'll make it. I just don't really feel comfortable around those guys. Hey, you kids over there. Oi. Uh-oh. Please, we just need a moment of... Oh, you're that girl. I... I'm sorry. I really don't want to get involved in this. Well, what about the people you lost? Oh, I... Think about them. Hey, hey. Don't you want justice for them? Uh, of course I do, but... Then isn't this your chance? It's about time we hold these all cozy scum hey, responsible. Hey, hey, come on. We gotta get in here. I, I know that, but will that change anything? What do you mean by that? Oh, crap. That doesn't sound good. Maybe I should step in before things get worse. Not the best idea, but someone has to break this before it turns into a brawl. Ah, uh, I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it, mister. What do you even know? Have you ever been to Bortimer? Uh, not exactly, but... Did you even see what those heathens did to it? Um... And after everything, 
the Alcozi nobility turned a blind eye on us when we asked for their help. Now that there's a war, they're asking for ours? I don't think so. It's about time we hold these Alcozi scum responsible. Yikes. Well, technically he's not wrong. I'm too young to fight this war myself, but... Uh, sir? That's nice and all, but I think you should calm your... Listen here, you brat! My son didn't survive Bordemer, only to die in a war defending those godless heathens who sit comfortably in their homes. I'd bet even someone like Sir Brand wouldn't let that kind of bullshit happen. And she's also from Bordemer! Hey, hey, what? A poor table. Uh, well... Uh-oh, uh-oh! You think I didn't know that? Were you even there? Well... Oh. My whole family also died in that pirate rage, you know? How dare you! Hey, Val! Yeah, come on. We gotta go. Huh? What... what happened? <sighs> oh, no. I... I'm sorry. That wasn't... I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Wait! What... what was that? You suck. Yeah, my question exactly. Fetch, man, that got intense. Relationship with Veil increased by 50 points. New topics have been unlocked. Oh boy. Hope she's okay. I just wanna check. So Veil, yeah, we got her past that halfway point. Okay. I think we're gonna go ahead and end here. I was kind of hoping to get to the end of the week, but I think that's a lot of stuff that's happened already, and I kind of don't want to pack things in too much. So, yeah, we're going to go here. But yeah, I, I, I'm i sure all, all the girls have interesting stories and stuff that we get to explore with them, but come on. Vale's really interesting. She's really captured my attention, just as a character. She's fantastic. So, yeah, I'm really, I think I'm 100% behind this. I think Beatrice is great. But I think Vale really is going to be like the ending I'm shooting for. If there's only one ending you can get. So that's what we're going with. Hope you guys are okay with that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for being here today. I hope you guys had a good time. I certainly did. It was a wonderful to be able to share this with you, of course. And just being able to enjoy these stories. So again, thank you to the patrons who helped select this as their game of choice. And I look forward to being able to select another one with you when we get to the end. But, you know, regardless of that, it's been a fun week. There's a lot of stuff coming on with the holidays and all that, so it's a, it's a, it's a crazy time. Make sure to keep your loved ones in mind. You know, it's a time to be kind of grateful for the things that we have, and I'm grateful for you uh, and each and every one of you, and, and, and I'm also grateful for this, the, the wonderful home I have and just, like, the chance to even share these games and play these games on, like, YouTube. It's really nice, and I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. Anyway... Thank you guys so much. Thank you for your support. And until the next video, watch me ever see me in next. I'll see you there.